If no concrete slab or other flat surface is available, use the timber base frame as shown. If installing on an uneven or unlevel surface, please use the optional feet. Insert the feet through the holes in the bottom corners of the box to raise the box and adjust the nuts below and above the corner brackets to suit. Locate the slots on the bottom of the side and rear panels and push down onto the corner and straight bracket teeth as shown. Secure the panels together using the plastic cap. Place the second rear panel on the straight bracket and corner brackets and slide the filler between the two rear panels. Secure into place by using the two plastic caps as shown. Insert the other side panel and cap. Slide the two front panels onto the front corner and straight brackets. Insert the filler between the two front panels. Secure the filler and the front panels to the box using the plastic caps provided. Insert the plastic pins into the top of the front panels into the caps. Insert the joined channel tabs into the slots in the fillers and rear panel and push down. Repeat for the front panel. Place the join stiffener across the two rear panels and screw to fix the timber boards. Attach the lid to the unit with hinge pins. Align the small hinge pins with the holes in the sides and tap into place with the mallet. For the central join, tap the longer central hinge pin through both top lids and corner caps. Insert the handles into the door until a click is heard. Push the lip of the door over the front panel step, align the studs on the door, insert and push down. Attach the gas struts to the side panel by attaching the ball bearing screw first. Now push the struts onto the ball bearing. Insert the bolt and washer into the faceplate of the strut and through the pre-drilled holes in the top lid and secure with the dome nuts and washers provided. Attach the latch to the door using the supplied screw, washer and nut as shown. Rotate the latch clockwise to lock the lid and door in place. Push the base pins into the holes at the bottom edge of the panels and through the corner brackets. Anchor box to the timber base frame as shown or to a concrete slab or other flat surface. Do this for all four corners.